How's things going Pom Squad? I would like to say thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you end up enjoying this content, then please like, subscribe, and maybe even a short sweet comment so I know I'm on the right path to your entertainment needs. Thank you and enjoy the video. So the plan was making more inbreed and feed stations like I had in the previous world, but having had my render distance from the previous video increased, I came across the village as I was walking back to the base. How convenient. So I went to the village to greet my new neighbours. They seem nice, but I suspect that they are saying bad things about me. Nothing solid and I haven't overheard any of them, but nobody is cheerful about their newest visitor. So I left and made my way down a cave for some much wanted iron ore. But I need to rid this place of all the mobs. Okay, now I can collect and I'll avoid the enderman while I'm at it. Actually, he seems to be sticking around so maybe I should. Okay, wait, 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 I'll play it safe. Now that's all collected, I can go back to the base and sleep. So upon the revelation of having neighbours, it's probably about time to steal a couple of them. After thinking of what to build, I watched a great YouTuber called Paul GG. He's building a kingdom currently, and I'd recommend watching him if you don't. But he has a potato farm that gives loads of potatoes, and in turn emeralds. So I want to build an automatic potato farm, but I'll need materials. I haven't come across any deserts yet, so I'll just uh run around until I find random sand patches. I found this one. <laughs> I, I swear I'm a mature adult. Um, I didn't chuckle or smile whatsoever. And that's the sand collected. Running back from collecting the sand, I came across man's best friend. If he will accept two bones, then he is truly man's best friend. And my excitement can't be contained in words, but I'll show it in video form. Oh yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! Finally, me and my new friend made it back to the base and I placed him in his position guarding the storage. I've collected what I believe to be enough materials and it's time to get building. I've built a parameter and now the real building can commence. And the building is almost built. But now I need is the villagers. I made sure to dig out a sewers canal type structure for easy transportation. Here's the first victim and the iron golem doesn't seem to care. On my way back a chicken got in the way of the boat and I was reliving the horrors of 2020. But after some excavation and willpower me and my transport were off to the farmland. Now both farmers are in, and I need to convince the display villager that potatoes are pretty good. So after a couple of attempts, potatoes was an option, and I gave him my best offer. I let this run for about 15 minutes, and the villager only managed to supply me with three potatoes. I'm more than distraught at this harsh crime, but upon closer inspection of the size, I realise I messed up on the dimensions. So I went off strip mining to collect deep slate around where I heard the villager last episode and it worked out amazingly because there was a mineshaft right next to the staircase. Not just that, but there was some well good loot fueling my excitement. I'd been running around for what seemed like a measly 5 minutes and I came across a skeleton spawner. I don't know if they're that useful anymore, but I'll keep note of its coordinates and possibly come back to it in a later date. Now it's just a matter of finding my way back to where I came from. Maybe the entrance can't be found, but a cave opening will work well enough for me and I can just walk back to the base. 
I sat at the potato farm slightly longer and noticed the size that I built doesn't actually work for Paul Gigi's design. So I had to manually tear the farm down without freeing any of the captives. I'm free! Then I had to rebuild it to its proper size. So I finished building the shape and dealt with the wandering trader that wandered in the wrong neighbourhood. And I noticed, due to my lack of enchanted items, I didn't break any of the glass or silk touch, so I had to go on a boat out into the distance and get more sand. After a bit of boating and running, I came across what I believed to be the perfect spot. I covered the top layer with dirt and then dug underneath it collecting all the sand whilst not being affected by the water. And within no time, the sand was cleared out and it was time to head back to the base. So back at the base, I decided to use plain glass rather than red glass. I realised I may end up designing this to look like the village with quartz, sandstone and wood, so plain glass just seems like the go-to. The farmer has now been securely placed in the farm circle and all the necessary potatoes have been placed. Next, the collection system was set up and the other villager can be placed into his proper spot. There we go, wasn't too hard. I made it look harder than it was meant to be. I then proceeded to remove the remains of the old design and came to realise the space looks really empty and small. So I built an area with two more farms. Yeah, that looks nice. So instead of waiting around, digging, absolutely doing nothing, I thought I'd set up a future build I was thinking of doing. Just a quick incomplete oval shape and it has already turned into night time. So next day I set up building the next floor, and noticed that despite popular belief, villagers don't grow on trees. So in anger, I chopped down loads of trees, began the foundation for a village house, built the wrong dimensions, put a roof on it, and BAM! Hospital. So I got two residents, a free house, and I told them the condition was to continuously create many children at my disposal. They seemed pleased with that, and suddenly there were two residents. Now I've got a stable population ahead of me. I thought it would seem reasonable to have one potato farm functional, but have the other two with one layer. This video has already surpassed wanted file sizes in footage, so to save myself time editing and hard drive space, I will time lapse the other two builds. What was a couple seconds for you guys was a really long time for me, but 8 villagers have been placed in the silo farm and I'll call it finished for the time being. I'm already getting a stack of potatoes around every 10 seconds, so this capacity works well for me. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to like and comment. If you wish to see more of my beautiful face, then please be sure to subscribe for future videos. It's been your boy Pomegranate and I'll catch you guys later.